Hey, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at a system called Archman Linux, and it's pretty much a Arch-based system. So while new uh, releases are not being announced and uh, it's a slow moment, I'm going to be going through this list right here from the Arch uh, repository, and pretty much it has a lot of uh, Arch-based systems that are on here. A lot of these I've already reviewed. But like I said, I'm just going along this list right here. So whenever there's nothing new out to post, I'm just going to go down this list and post them. All right, so I've already done ArchBang. I just did ArchX, and now I'm going to do ArchMan. So this is the next one on the list. So we're going to take a look at it now. And I got it up in a virtual machine, so let's head on over there and take a look. And here we are on the virtual machine, and uh, it's already opened up the Calamari's installer on its own. So we're going to run through this and get it installed. Location is correct, so click Next. English US, click Next. I'll select the race disk. Swap. I'll just put a swap to file. And add my user info. Give it a very strong password. And for this video, I'll log in automatically. It's my overview of what's going to happen. Click on install, and it's installing. So while this installs, I'll go ahead and pause the video. And when I come back, we should be ready to look at Archman Linux. And the installer has completed, it's done. So I'm gonna check the uh, restart now and click on that. We are now rebooted into the system. So uh, this is Archman and one of the first things I have to do is fix the uh, screen resolution. So let me find my settings. It's using the XFCE uh, desktop environment. So finding the settings is pretty easy. Okay, this is it now, and it is uh, at the proper screen resolution now, so uh, let's take a look. So one of the first things I see is that, uh, ooh, 285 updates available. You know what, I, can, I will not update right now, I'll do that later. Close, and close. Close everything. All right, so uh, yeah, this is Archman Linux, and uh, we have the uh, panel on the bottom right here with your system tray and pinned items. And of course, we have the standard uh, Whisker uh, application launcher. So this is it right here, standard on, well, it's not standard on the XFCE, you actually have to download it separate, but it comes on most systems. So going through here, you can see we have our favorites recently used, all applications, accessories, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, science, settings, and system. So it's pretty much uh, what you have for your application launcher. And then you have your uh, power session here and your system settings. And then on the bottom, you have a search. All right. So since uh, there is nothing new about this release, I'm just taking a look at it while uh, other releases are all being announced. So uh, let's go online and uh, see if we can find any info on Archman. So I'll just do Archman Linux. Oh, well, there are links right here. The Anyways, uh, Archman Linux, Archman Linux, and I believe this is not English. So, maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, I need to find a translator. So, I'll just copy. And go to Google Translate. And go to 
website. Okay, here we go. Now we're translated. And it says Archman Linux. Archman Linux is a powerful, lightweight, fast, visual, and stable Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. It says here we got rolling versions, try ones, Pac-Man commands, and you got your donations. And the latest news, you can follow the developments and release announcements about the Archman Linux project from the links below. You can contribute to us by sharing news and announcements on social media. So it looks like the latest uh, release was in uh, November of 2023. And let's see the about us, see if it says anything different. Archman.org is the official site of Archman GNU Linux distribution. And on the about, Archman Linux is a Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. There are versions for XFCE, KDE Plasma, Mate, Deepin, GNOME, LXDE, and LXQT. Our main version is our XFCE version, which is the one that I'm on. All right, so that's pretty much the, the get to know about uh, Archman. And on their Firefox browser, they're using version 120.0. All right, and for their file manager, I'm pretty sure they're using Thunar, and they are, as it says it right here. And Thunar 4.18.8. And what else do they got here? Uh, minimize all windows. All right, I guess we can look at their uh, assortment of apps they got here. They got quite a few. Uh, applications installed so uh, it's quite a bit of stuff but uh, let's take a look at the task manager and basically if you want to get your sensitive information I'll just show you right here about your CPU and processes and memory all right so it's a very small uh, graph right here you can barely see it so it's nothing major And let's take a look at the about task manager 1.5.6. And on ed education, we have LibreOffice Math. And then games, we just have chess and Chromium BSU. And graphics, you got GIMP, Inkscape, LibreOffice Draw, Ristretto Image Viewer, and VMware. Take a look at Inkscape. Haven't seen this in a while. And this is another uh, image editor apart from uh, GIMP. GIMP is your more standard, and this right here is more for like making uh, SVGs and uh, other types of graphics. But uh, it works nonetheless. And on the about, Inkscape 1.3.1. All right, on the internet, we already saw Firefox, but you also got UGET and uh, your SSH clients and something called LFTP and, of course, Pigeon, your mail reader. But UGET, UGET is a download manager. I use it on my main system, so if you want to download files extra fast, you just click on here. It'll grab the whatever link is in your clipboard, and you just set your connections. And wherever you want to download it, you just select your folder here. And let's see on the about. It's UGET 2.2.3. And on the multimedia, we got uh, media players, Parole, MPV, Post Audio. Quad Libet, I'm not sure what that is. Vocal Screen, I'm not sure what that is. And XF Burn, a CD Ripper tool. I think this is a screen recording. 
Yeah, easy to use desktop recorder. But quad, I think it's a music player. Setup library directory. So I guess you will use this to point to wherever you got your music. So you would add all your entries here. And then on the about, we have quad libit 4.6.0 music player and music library manager. All right, continuing on, we got the Office Suite. So Office, pretty much, uh, you'll see LibreOffice pretty much standard on all systems. Now, it's not on all of them, but I would say 99% of the systems use LibreOffice. And the version here is 7.5.8.2. And you got your science, you got your settings, you got your system. So on your system, let's take a look at the uh, terminal. We have not seen the terminal yet. And this is the XFCE terminal, version 1.1.1. And let's see if we come with a HTOP off the, and we do. And the memory right now is using is 810 megabytes out of 8 gigabytes. It's very good. And the load averages 0 0.24, 0 0.39, and 0 0.26. So it's all stable across the board. And if we got NeoFetch, that'll be awesome too. And we do. See here, Archman Linux. The kernel 6.6.2 the desktop environment xfce 4.18 all right so this is a archman linux everything worked out the box no problem whatsoever but uh let me test out the uh, pac-man and see if uh see if that works uh with no problems so I'll do a quick sudo pacman s. I'll just install Nemo real quick. Okay. So I gotta do a pacman sy first. Ah. Come on, keyboard. There you go. Alright, so that's done. Now let's try it again. So that installed. So you just have to do it. Whenever you have problems like this, just do a Pac-Man SY and it should uh, it should get it up and going. So I just installed Nemo real quick and there it is. It's just a simple file manager. Quick and easy to install. And Nemo 6.0.2. All right. So uh, yeah, like I said, this is uh, Archman Linux. Everything worked, no problems whatsoever. So I'll have the uh, homepage and download link in the video description if you want to take a look at it yourself. And you know, just give it a test run. And remember, always test it out in a virtual machine before you go uh, to your hard drive with it because uh, you want to make sure that it's going to work and it's going to perform the way you want it to. Because uh, if you install it on your hard drive and then you start having issues with it, then uh, you know, I'm just doing these first looks at these uh, videos and, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not sitting in front of your computer, so I don't have your answers. You know what I mean? So that's why I say always test it out in a virtual machine before you go bare metal with it. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. And I'm out.